in lit points, the full red mesh, and the mouthpiece. The effect of an optimum air inlet point is explained here with the help of this graph. Loopy Hailer has full air inlet points that attain a chamber velocity of 40 meters per second, but the entry velocity is still at 20 meters per second. Now, if we reduce the air inlet size to one-third its original size, the chamber velocity goes beyond 40 meters per second. But due to the mesh, the entry velocity is still at 20 meters per second. This indicates that the resistance increases when the air inlet size is reduced and results in holding some amount of air in the chamber itself. A radioactive imaging study was done on 10,000 particles with different mesh. Three key scenarios were observed. With a full grid mesh as in loop inhaler, only three particles strike the mouthpiece wall. With a non-uniform mesh, the number of mouthpiece wall impactions increased significantly. Most available devices in our country have a non-uniform mesh. It was noticed that the reduction in velocity was only 30 meters per second and therefore it increased the retention of drug inside the device and also the buckle cavity. Without the mesh, it was found that there was no decrease in the velocity from the chamber to the entry or exit velocities and an enormous amount of mouthpiece wall impactions took place which obviously reduced the emitted dose. The optimum length of the mouthpiece, which is 3 cm, creates a uniform exit velocity. As we have observed, there is a significant decrease from the chamber velocity to the entry velocity. But during the passage through the mouthpiece, there is a further reduction in the velocity, making it suitable for inhalation. Also, what is important is that each particle that comes out, comes out at a uniform velocity thus increasing the lung deposition. If the length of the mouthpiece is reduced, the exit velocity becomes non-uniform and results in higher buccal cavity and throat deposition. Loopy Hailer mouthpiece gives a standard uniform exit velocity which is proven by this radioactive imaging data which is approximately 10 meters per second thus ensuring maximum lung deposition. Doctor, now you would appreciate the efficacy of loopy hailer. The in vivo trials show that the emitted dose with loopy hailer is as high as 80%. For severe patients with inspiratory capacity as low as 25 liters per minute, the currently available devices will not work at all. But loopy hailer still ensures a 65 to 70 percent emitted dose. Similarly, if we look at the delivered dose, it is as high as 30 percent. When any other available device in a best possible scenario can deliver only 10 percent of the dose, Loopy Hailer, even in severe patients, gives up to 18 percent drug deposition. The correlation between the in vivo and in vitro data talks about the strength of the device or the uniformity of the dose delivered, irrespective of whether a machine or a human being is using the device. It works in the same way. Loopy Hailer is the only device in the country which because of its superior mode of action and superior science gives 80% of emitted dose and up to 30% of delivered dose. Therefore, doctor, you would agree that Loopy Hailer is a breakthrough in breathing technology and it's the first advanced mono dose device in the country. Loopy Hailer is the only device with centrifugal flow field which moderates the chamber velocity, the entry velocity along with the angular velocity and gives a uniform exit velocity. Loopy Hailer ensures up to 80% emitted dose and up to 30% delivered dose. Even in severe cases, it effectuates 18% delivered dose, which is otherwise possible only in MDI plus spacer. Therefore, doctor, 
new behaler is designed to deliver maximum deposition with least resistance and least retention. And for patients, it is very easy to understand and simple to use. Doctor, prescribe Loopy Hela, a breakthrough in breathing technology.